Michigan or where you're at, you know, with um, the reality of abortion. But I thought that I would give you both one of these. Okay, and it's good education, even if you're not sure how you feel or if you do have a certain feeling. Um, this gives you a lot of information about actually what happens to the mom's health and what happens to the baby when it happens. And the reason why we're here is to try and prevent teen pregnancy. That's our major goal. Okay, but if it happens, we're educating women so they know that their body goes through a lot of trauma when they have an abortion. It can even cause sterility. Um, and then also that the baby, there's only one life that usually lives, and that's the mom. The other baby that's an independent little person, even though he's dependent on mom for fluids and, and nutrition, you know, he's still a living being. I don't know if you guys are Christians. Are you guys Christians? or No. no. Okay, because I was going to tell you some Bible quotes that kind of back that up, that God knew us in the womb. Um, but we're just here to educate everybody to make sure this is the age when a lot of this stuff happens, right? And we don't want women to go through trauma because I have a lot of friends that have had abortions and they still, even 15 years later, they realize, oh my gosh, what did I do? Let me see the development of the baby. When they see that, they've had nightmares and it's something that's just, it's almost like a post-traumatic stress that a lot of women have after this. So we just don't want you women to be hurt. We don't want your unborn babies, boys or girls, to be hurt. We don't want, even if your babies end up being, you know, um, you know, confused about their gender. We don't want them to be hurt. We love everyone. And we just wanted to educate kids here today about that, you guys, okay? Take care, you too.